Today is the one-year anniversary of a fatal crash that killed four local teenagers. The death shocked the community and was later followed by controversy over a memorial marker. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jim Spiewak has more as he talks to one of the moms who lost a teen. Well, Lane, it's exactly one year to the day that Sean and Jessica Leonard, Andrew Monroe, and Kelly Janice lost their life in this tragic car accident, and there are still many questions left unanswered. Tuesday, Sean Leonard would have turned 20 years old. But on March 13th, 2011, Sean, his sister Jessica, Kelly Janice, and Andrew Monroe tragically lost their lives when their SUV hit a wall to the entrance of the Seville community on Wilkinson Road. One year later, the wounds are still fresh in the mind of Sean and Jessica's mother, Doreen. I can't believe it's been a year. I can't believe that this happened. Doreen refuses to believe the Florida Highway Patrol report is accurate and says other factors could have led to potentially saving the teens. They keep telling me those that knew him know better and the other people, it doesn't matter. But I'm stuck there. Um, with my dying breath, I'm going to be trying to clear Sean's name. Many people visit the memorial site every day as the four teens who lost their lives weren't just sons and daughters. They were friends of the community. It's gone by very, very, very quickly. Um, lots of memories, lots of friends getting you through the day. In an effort to not frustrate nearby residents, a candlelight vigil is being held at a school where Andrew Monroe used to play soccer instead of the memorial site. It would have been nice to have had something here, but knowing that we didn't want to fuel their ammunition for threatening to have it removed or try to have it removed, we chose to not do anything here. I spoke to several Seville residents Tuesday who did not want to go on camera but would only say they oppose the current location of the memorial. Resident Catherine Covey agreed to speak on camera and says she has no issue with it. I don't know about any else, anybody else, but for me it's just so, so, so sad. So sad. The 12 months that have passed is not yet enough time for some to heal the wounds left by four teenagers. Well, Lena, the scene of the accident is drastically different than it was this time last year. The wall has been replaced, the writings from the cement are now gone, and the only thing that remains is a small memorial plaque in the memory of four teens.